Hey ladies and germs, I uh, just wanted to bring you a quick video here. YouTube user Madness832, Madness832, a link to his channel is in the description, uh, sent us some vintage stuff. And first of all here we have a West Clocks clock. I have not unpacked it yet. I'm going to go ahead and take the packaging off and um, uh, bring you some more videos. So hang on. And here we go. Now best I can tell this is from the late 70s, early 80s and um, it's a West Clocks electric wall clock. It's in great shape. It's like brand new condition. It's a West Clocks Simplicity model 26709. Um, 2.3 watts. I'm not going to be able to get the camera to focus here. But um, if you can read that, there you go. Athens, Georgia. That's where I went to college. Made in the USA. All right, this doesn't really require any reconditioning or anything. It's like brand new. We're probably just going to novice it up and hang it on the wall right there above the Olympic console. Sweet. Thanks a lot for this. Okay, next up we have a Radio Shack ECS-1000 calculator from 1974. Uh, this calculator is really unique in that it has a gas discharge display. Now what that is is basically low pressure neon lamps um, built in such a way that they can be shaped or um, you know it's very similar to Nixie tubes but it's built on a flat substrate uh, and it's made with low pressure neon. It's a really unique display because they didn't use these very often. I mean it was mechanical print and then it was red LED and then vacuum fluorescent. In the, in the meantime, for a short period of like two or three years, um, even though they were, you know, invented in 70 years ago, um, calculators and clocks and stuff occasionally use these gas discharge displays. Um, again, it's like a neon lamp, like you'd find on a vintage television set illuminating the channel number. Um, but it's really cool. Works great. And at, just as the West Clock clock, um, it is... I, we don't have to touch it. It's like clean and shiny and it's going straight on display with the other calculators. Mint without the box. Mint without the box is indeed correct. Okay, next up on the list from YouTube user Madness832 is a 1968 General Electric. Um, 7274 trip mate alarm clock comes complete with lighted dial and yes it does work it won't show up on the camera but if I dim the lights it does glow with an orange neon tube behind the display um, basically what this does and it's completely clean and slick and shiny and the third item that he sent us that does not require us to do anything it's just going to go right over there with the alarm clocks on display because we don't have to do anything. He's already done all the hard work. Um, this little door here, as you can see, is a compartment which stores the power cord. Okay, And here on the back, you have alarm on and off, time set, and alarm set. It's that simple. Now what this is, obviously, being a trip mate, is it would be a portable alarm clock that you would take with you when you travel. And as you can see, it works perfectly fine very smooth movement. It doesn't need cleaning or oiling or anything. It's fine the way it is. Um, but when you're done with your trip, you simply unplug the power cord, fold it back into the little secret compartment in the back, close the front, and there you go. Shove it in your suitcase and you got your alarm clock with you. Okay, and last but not least, we have this uh, reading lamp that is intended to attach to a headboard on a bed. And as you can see, there's two um, clips here, which are lined with felt to protect the wood of the headboard. And they clip on, and then the bracket also tilts, allows you to vary the angle of the lamp while you're in bed. And it is a, it says fortune lamp inside, right down there. It has an IKEA light bulb. It says, do not use over 40 watt bulb, and this IKEA light bulb is a seven watt CFL. I've never seen that before either. It's got like a soft rubbery coating. I like that. Um, funny enough though, this lamp is very similar, if not the same, 
as one my grandmother had on her headboard in the guest bedroom that I used to stay in back in the 80s. Um, I would say this is probably 70s or older. Um, I can't find any information on it at all, but just the construction, the design, and the uh, switch all uh, tell me 70s. So, um, could very well be. Um, but yeah, it's really cool and it will be in use actually. Uh, one, one way, shape, or form down the road here. So, um, there you go. There's four items that we receive from YouTube user Madness832 and we thank you very much for sending these to us um, they will be kept in a very safe you know environment and along with all the other stuff we have and um, we really just appreciate it uh, it's always nice when other YouTube users notice what we do and then they um, you know send us little things that add to our collection so um, thank you very much for that and uh, Everyone else, if you would, please hit like and subscribe, and stay tuned for more videos. Comments are welcome, and have a great day. Bye-bye.